part of that like God journey that you've been on is really inspiring to me. And it's, it seems easy as one would like look from the outside and be like, oh yeah, of course he can say that about God. Cause he's a gospel singer, right? He, he does, he does this for a living, but also you work in a professional workplace every day. So how is it you can also the struggles and being uh, a gospel singer doing uh, glorifying God through your music and also living that every day in workplace. Yeah. I, first of all, I think I just have a definitely in my life, the way life has gone in recent years, um, it has kind of reframed my walk with God and, and what I hope if anybody out there is interested in that journey and walking with God and walking with Jesus is like that personal relationship is everything because we're all human. So Mm. we're all going to, you know, fail. We're all going to maybe not show up in the best way. We're all going to make mistakes. Like everybody's human. And so I think if you can get to the point where you say, you know, of course the Bible being a guide and, um, but, but prayer being, you know, access to God, but like having that personal relationship to me is like the most fundamental thing that you could do. Um, if that's something you're interested in, in journey you're interested in going on, um, because I think you're gonna run into you know people who uh, could be hurtful, you know, in that space or you know that sort of thing. So I think that personal relationship is paramount, and then from that I think flows how you show up in a, a workspace, in a place that may not be necessarily always geared towards sure. that way of life. Um, and so I think if you have that strong connection, then you're able to show up in those spaces. And I kind of think of like the fruit of the spirit, like things of, you know, you know, kindness and, you know, honesty and all those different things, integrity and um, loving your neighbor as yourself. All of those things like you get to express those things in those environments um, and not necessarily have to be preachy, you know, or like you, you must align with me. No, this world is different. You know, Mm -hmm. people have different views and different beliefs. But if you can, you know, showcase your beliefs or what you you believe in just by the way that you live and how your love flows out. Um, I think people will definitely re- recognize that. And then if they're interested in wanting to take further steps in that direction, then you can have those conversations and, and open the door to that. I'm very like sensitive when it comes to faith, Christianity, uh, my walk with God and Jesus, just because I grew up in a place where the church was very, sometimes I call it like a cult church, which mm-hmm. I know that sounds very crazy. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was definitely, you know, in that space of things. And so to, you know, we don't have time to get into all of it, but I just remember growing up and experiencing um, church in a way that could be, or Christianity in a way that could be very harmful and yeah. hurtful. And so I've, I've always been a person of like, man, I know what God has done for me. I know what Jesus does for me. I know how the Holy Spirit holds this tongue when I be wanting to say crazy stuff. Okay. Um, but I also don't ever want to force that on anybody. I yeah. want people to be able to experience that. And if they ask questions, I'm like, how did this happen? Or how did it? I'm going to tell you it's God. Yeah. You know, I'm going to tell you it's Jesus. I'm going to tell you it's, it's that relationship. And then if you're intrigued by that and you want to know more, I'm happy to share. But I think I'm still on a journey of continuing to grow in faith and with every year that I'm getting older, it's like that continues to mold and form and shape as I grow. So I think it's just, once again, it goes all back to that um, personal relationship. And it's the sweetest thing for me. Like I, I'm, my parents are in Kansas city, Missouri. Um, so I often drive through the Flint Hills to go to mm-hmm. Raytown specifically Raytown, uh, Missouri shout out to Raytown. Um, and the Flint Hills is my space to talk to God. I just like, I'm like, all right, God, we in the Flint Hills. Like, what we, what we, what we doing now? You know? And so I just went to Kansas City. Um, at the time that we're filming this, I, I just got back from singing a national anthem for the Kansas City Current. And yes, so sir. I was just in the Flint Hills. Yes, like, sir. all right, what are we talking about? What are we doing? So, um, yeah, I love. I wouldn't change that relationship for anything in the world. It is mm. that's my bestie. <laughs> <laughs>